carry your business on your head like gala you don't know when god will blow your whistle welcome back to my channel i'm eki today is a chit chat get ready with me so let's go right into this video welcome to another year guys and i want to thank you all for your support throughout 2023 it was an amazing year so basically this video is just to say a very big thank you to all of you that have supported me all through the years also to leave a little word of encouragement for anyone that is passing through some phase at this moment i know that it's not easy it's one thing to want something and is another thing to get that thing it's just to let you guys know that god is with you no matter what you are facing or you're going through right now i didn't really prepare anything for filming today i just felt in my spirit to come chit chat with you over here while i do my makeup i'll tell you guys how my 2023 went it was a tough and a beautiful year I'll be going in with the Rimmel's theme at Primer. You know that saying that when one door closes, another opens. 2023 was that year. First, I'm this person that thinks too much. When something happens or I'm trying to get to a particular thing and it's not forthcoming, I'll be so worried that I will lose my appetite i literally pay attention to every freaking details i wanted so much in 2022 and i couldn't achieve any of that you know when you basically want everything and you don't know the one to get first because in your table everything is important like you need everything at that moment to just work that was what was happening to me in 2022 as forward to 2023 january I decided to leave everything to God. Job was not a pastor in, in the Bible. But God called him the servant of God. Do you know why? If he lived his life for God. Job was that one person that God used to brag to Satan. That have you seen my son Job? Go and read the book of Job. You'll see what, what happened there. He wasn't a pastor but he was called the servant of God. Because he believed in God. He believed in his doings. In 2023, January, my heart was, God, I leave this will to you. Take it and do whatever it pleases. In this life, whatever you ask God for, and you believe that God can do it for you. Trust me, definitely God will do it. God is not a man. Don't expect him to do everything at the time you want it. Sometimes the reason why he will not give you some things is because probably you're not matured yet to get that thing. God's wealth is the sweetest thing that can ha ever happen to anyone because as he's giving you that wealth, you'll be able to sleep with your two eyes closed without a fear in your heart. So when I decided to leave everything to God in 2023, things started moving gradually. Before you know, Naira scarcity started. It was as if I wanted to start running from pillar to pole. But thank God for God. Even though I wasn't doing what I love to do, which is makeup. In case you've not known, I'm a makeup artist. Most times I post makeup transformation videos on my shots. So I was doing a very small business. And the reason why I was doing that was to raise up money to finance my major business which is the makeup it was moving gradually and i was saving up to move my makeup business to a better place naira scarcity started in my heart i was paying fast forward god finally answered my prayers and he gave me what i was looking for the bible says that he will make it happened in his time god have plans for each and every one of us in this life as far as i'm concerned he also answers prayers no matter how you feel that god is not answering your prayers for him keeping your life alone is a answered prayers there are people that are living through oxygen their prayers is god if i can only breathe by myself i will be so grateful your own is just to believe that god will do it I'm a big believer of God Almighty. I don't know about you. I don't know what you believe in. But if you believe in this God, trust me, your life can never and will never remain the same. Because he's the doer of all things. There are times that you feel you can do 
things by yourself. Trust me, it's not by your doing. It's, it's God. If He did not give you the ability, you won't be able to do it. As much as a lot of people will say, I did it on my own, I did it by myself. It, if it was not God, you won't be able to do it. It's a bitter truth. I'm a believer of God. I know what God has done in my life. So 2023 was a year of trials, but God came through for me. If it's not him, I will not be where I am. Even if I'm not where I want my business to be yet, but I am not where I used to be two years ago, three years ago, whatever you think that is the issue with you, or you feel that you've not achieved what you wanted to achieve in 2023, trust me, in 2024, you will achieve even more than what you've desired to. Believe in what God can do in your life. Believe that when you touch a thing, it will be fruitful. First thing first, take away negative mindsets. Because there was a time in my life I would be like, why is my own thing always like this? Why is everybody going here, doing these things, and they are making it and when i get there it's not working how it should work i'll tell you for free that is not a good mindset you are limiting what god can do in your life try to eliminate negativity in as much as i'll complain at that time why is my own thing always like this there's this thing i always had in my head that i can do it with god who strengthens me i can do this thing i just want to let you know that god is the doer of everything and as you believe in your heart so shall it be there are times that i will think negative immediately i'll say god forbid the reason why i do this is because i'm rebuking that thing from happening the truth is that the devil will always put negative thoughts in your head it's the negative ones oh i cannot achieve this you know I will not be able to do this and that is what the devil wants you to believe and when you continue like that you see that instead of growing your feeling whatever it is that you want to do plan it you don't know when god will send your helper you don't know when god will blow your whistle they say if you don't plan you plan to fail so mine today is start small no matter how small no matter how little it is start it there was a point in my life where I was selling fruit juice to 200 naira. In the 200 naira I was selling, I was saving 500 naira daily because I needed money to grow my business and the money was not forthcoming. I had to start something that will give me daily income no matter how little it is. It might look degrading, it might look demeaning. If you put all those things in your head, you will suffer. All what you need in this 2024 is to make it work. Look for something. If it's to serve someone, serve someone. In the place of service, God will answer your prayers. A lot of us want to start something, but we want to start big. Even me, I have big eyes. You know that word that they say, shoe get size. Truly, shoe have sizes. And you cannot wear another person's size. What I'm trying to say in essence is that the place you are now might not be where you want to be, but start somewhere. When I was selling fruit juice, I was selling it with pride. I don't care how demeaning you might look at it. Whatever will put food on my table, I do it with joy. I got this product from Stella Bolt Cosmetics. I've used the product on somebody before, but I've not used it on myself. Most times, I love to test out product on myself, even before I use it for someone, so I will know exactly how it feels on the skin. I got the powder, powder palette. I got um, one press powder. I got setting powder and two foundations with two lipids as well this is too yellowish i don't know if it's showing on the camera but i'll just try it and see how it will wear on my skin and i'll tell you guys what i feel about this let's look at what my under eyes look like using the stella volt cosmetic setting powder which is a little yellowish i'll try to get another shade that is a bit lighter than the one they sent to me so if you want to purchase any of their products 
check them on instagram at stella volt cosmetics they have range of products over there i'm creating my eye look with this Juvia's place eyeshadow palettes in masquerade beautiful colors in here it's like i was saying earlier whatever you find your hands to do do it with joy we carry your business on your head like gala you are the only one that wears the shoe and you know where it's hurting you don't take yourself out from that pain nobody will so my word for somebody today is just pick up yourself and start something do something go out you cannot sit at home and be a president you cannot sit at home opportunities comes and meet you you have to meet people you have to do something in the process of doing something you might meet a one-time opportunity that will change your life in 2024 do away with procrastination i will do it later meaning to say i will do it later you will change your mind into doing it hours later it will turn days from days it will turn months take away fear from your heart the lord will bless the works of your hands that is what the bible says if you don't read the bible and you are a christian you are doing yourself more harm than good there's mystery joy and revelation in reading the word of god if you read the word of god it, it opens your spiritual eyes to see things to know things that normally you would not know i'm i'm not a spirit coco i love god i do the things of god in as much as i'm a human being i will fail at some point or i will even start questioning my faith sometimes which of late i've not done that know god for yourself in fact this is the main point this is what i really wanted to point out in all these things that i've been saying but i'm not trying to be religious here i'm just trying to tell you the things that worked for me and it has really helped me if you fail to plan you plan to fail do you know why because god does not bless empty hand he blesses a hand that has something if you've been going through anything and the world seems to be collapsing on you please Go back to the word of God, hold him tight in his word. He said he will bless you exceedingly, abundantly, above all you could ever think or ask of him. I know you'll be wondering what is here. I was trying to pick my lashes with mascara and boom, I got this on my nose. So I'm picking my lashes again. This is because I brought lashes Please ignore this bird that, that you're hearing. I brought lashes and I did not bring lash glue. So I'm left with the option of picking my lash more than three times. Using this slippy from iMagic. I'm using a spoolie to pick the mascara out. Just to be on a safer side, you can go in with a powder. Be thankful to God, first of all, for what he has done and what he has been doing, for where you are, for where you're going to be. Be thankful for good health, for life, because when there's life, there's hope. Because he has promised us that he's going to fulfill all our needs according to his riches in Christ Jesus. If you trust God, believe in God, have faith, everything that you need will come when the time comes. Right. It will not come like a rush, it will come gradually. So in all, have faith, believe in God, work towards what you want. Leave all your worries to God, because if you are worried about it, you are only giving yourself sleepless nights. I can tell you for free, there were days that I would lie in my bed and my head is all over the place. At the end of the day, I didn't achieve nothing in worry. So go to god in prayers and supplication and trust me everything will play out just fine once again i say a happy new year to all 1000 plus of you and here my family members i wish you all the best in this new year whatever that you are trusting god for 
it will come to pass whatever god has placed in your hands to do today i pray that it will be fruitful it will yield increase and it will take you places so if you love this video and you love the outcome of this makeup please like share comment and subscribe and i will see you in my next video stay tuned stay blessed and stay beautiful till i come your way next time bye guys